the Lord. Amen. Amen. We be there. We be there at Matthew chapter 22, 21. Um, uh, this is very important. Amen. Uh, Pastor, you have your, uh, your mic. Amen. Um, this is very important because y'all remember when I said um, um, a false prophet is just as dead as a I mean, immature prophet just as dead as a false prophet. Amen. Amen. Uh, because why? Because the knowledge and the wisdom have not developed itself. Amen. Have not developed itself. Amen. That's why you when you find people, amen, they have not been developed. Amen. It's dangerous. Amen. Have not been developed. Amen. When you find uh, mankind people that don't walk in the wisdom and the knowledge, amen, and do not consult God, hey God, what is you saying, what what, what you want me to do, amen, the, the scriptures say, first seek ye first the kingdom of God, amen, in all our ways, amen, and knowledge him, and he'll direct our path, amen, amen, and, and, and that's, that's where we got to be at, amen, because if not, yeah, we're going to be doomed, amen, amen. I, I told y'all uh, probably about two months ago, um, I don't remember the timeline, it's about a month ago or, or a um, month ago, two months ago, and um, I, I told the body, amen, I say within four months this world going to be turned upside down. Uh, I don't know how many of y'all remember that. And um, and the Supreme Court done made a ruling where uh, Trump could really shoot somebody and, nothing he can, and nobody could do yeah. nothing about it. Amen. Yeah. If he get elected, any president, y'all see that? But we know it was for him. Yeah. Because if Biden do it, they're going to change it up and say, no, that one, you know. But uh, I, I told you this, amen. And that's why, you know, it's not no time for being mad at people. It ain't time to hold on to stuff. It's time to work out our own soul salvation with fear and trembling, amen. And whatever we need to drop off, amen. Let God deliver us. Let God be there. Amen. Because this, amen, the door is slowly closing uh, for the Gentile, which is us. Amen. We don't know the day or the hour. Amen. When the Son of Man shall appear, even the angels don't know. Amen. Amen. So we are in uh, Paris time now. We're in, we in, uh, we in the last days. Amen. Uh, we're in the last days. Amen. Someone had, uh, uh, one of my cousins years ago, amen. Uh, one of my aunties was saying, time ain't long as that been. One of them got smart. I said, y'all been saying that since I was a little boy. <laughs> but he didn't realize every day, every day, days go by and they as long. You know, he, he, you know, he was illiterate, you know. I, that's just the point. He was just illiterate, you know. You, you know, anytime somebody get smart on the things of God, you know, they just illiterate, they just, it just, they mind just ain't, amen, and you know, foolish talking, stupidness, amen, amen, uh, and what I meant by that too, because uh, anytime somebody struggle with their own identity, amen, amen, so, uh, but uh, time is not as long as it has been, amen, Amen. Time has been far spent. Amen. So, um, 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 knowledge is knowing what to say. Knowledge is knowing what to say. Knowledge is knowing what to say. When I said earlier, I have, uh, many years ago, I have taught myself up out of uh, doors. Amen. Just, you know, saying the wrong thing. Amen. Amen. Just saying the wrong thing. Amen. Uh, uh, knowledge, amen, is knowing what to say. 
amen, when you got insight, amen, on something, you'll know how to carry yourself and what to say. That's why I'm going to recap self-control, amen, because you don't have to, uh, you, you, you don't have to be hyper to say somebody needs self-control. Um, if a person always uh, in denial, don't want to deal with self, mind running everywhere, amen, they don't have self-control. There's no accurate peace there, amen. A lot of times people will, uh, you know, connect with someone just moving around all week, just moving, jumping, and can't sit down, just fidgeting. You know, that ain't just it by itself. It, it's, it's the mind. It is, it's the mind. It's that will. Amen. It's that emotion. Amen. And so, uh, knowledge is knowing what to say. Amen. As a believer, you got to know how to conduct yourself and what to say. If we are the light of the world, amen, and we are the salt, amen, that brings the flavor, the season, amen, uh, to the eyes of the lost, amen. We must know what to say, amen. Know what to say, amen. And how do we get knowledge, amen, through a relationship with Christ Jesus, spending time with him, studying out the word of God, amen. Finding yourself in the word of God, amen. Amen, amen. this is good for people that talk a lot, amen. Amen. Talk a lot. They folks that just talk a lot. Amen. You can't out talking. You don't, you know, you, you, everybody know less than that person, you know. So um, wisdom is knowing when to say it. Amen. You, it may be lawful to say something. It may be uh, political correct to say something. Amen. But is that the right timing? Amen. The right timing. The right timing, amen. You could say something, amen, uh, at the wrong time, amen. If somebody offend you, amen, and you say, well, I want to uh, confront them, have you confronted God, amen. God, is this the right time, amen, to go to that individual, amen. So you have to always ask for the anointing to be on a God. You present the opportunity with the anointing because I don't want to feel about with the anointing. I want some things to be destroyed because my motive is pure. Amen. And so when you ask God, amen, when is the opportunity to do something? He'll make provision. He'll make a way to do it because it will keep self out the way. Amen. Wisdom will keep self out the way. It will always protect self. Amen. If you want to protect yourself, walk under the wisdom of God. Amen. Be in the wisdom of God because again, amen, if, if somebody do something or if you want to correct something, amen, uh, it may be true you write. Amen. Amen. Maybe a fight that you write, but the truth say wait till tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait till next week. Wait till things cool down. Amen. Wait till you can get some Get some energy, wait to whatever, you know, and then let God bring it together because why? If you present something before time, amen, the opponent, amen, the opposite person may not be perceiving at that time and, and it just go up in flame. Yeah. Amen. And it's, and it's the same way when you present something in this world, amen. God may say, no, don't don't put that in yet. Don't put that application in yet. Don't do this here yet. He may be want to find somebody to put the right person up, you know. <laughs> Y'all yeah, see that? So you you gotta you gotta you gotta uh, walk in the wisdom of God, amen. Knowing what to say, how to say it, amen. Amen. Because it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. Amen. 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 So uh, let me give you an example. Amen. I'm going to give you an example. Um, there have been times, amen, uh, 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 Abraham, amen, um, I needed to talk to him. And the Lord said, no, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. And and I already had done told him one time, you know, a couple of I said, I'm going to need to talk to you, son. He said, all right, Dad. And so he'll come out and he said, Dad, you ready to talk? I said, and I, I said, no, not right now. And so he looked at me kind of crazy. Right? He said, you want to talk? I said, no, not right now. So he going home. So next day he'll come in, came in one time. He said, Dad, you, you, you want to talk? Amen. 
And I said, no, not right now. No, I'll let you know again. I know I told you, but I'll let you know again. Uh, because why? Because when I when I do it when it is the timing of God, I say the right thing. Amen. I'll say the right thing. I do it at the right time and I'll say the right thing. Amen. Because the whole uh the whole motive of it, amen, keeping the light shining, amen, keeping everybody that or anybody you are uh talking to or in the company of you're going to be in the will of God. You, you got what I'm saying? You will be in the will of God. You never want to do something out of the will of God because when you do something out of the will of God, it will reflect your light. It will reflect your, your relationship. It will reflect your faith. Amen. It will reflect you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, the wisdom is Knowing when to say it, amen. Uh, knowing when to say it. Um, um, now, um, I, I told y'all one time, um, my uh, brother asked me one time, he said, he said, he said, bro, give me some money. I said, I, ain't, I don't have no money for you. He said, I, I, know, I know that, but I know you got some money. I said, but I don't have no money for you. I ain't say I didn't have no money. I said, I don't have no money for you. He said, come on, come on, come on. I, got, I said, no, 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 I don't have no money for you. No, no, my money ain't going up in smoke. No, I'm sorry, no, 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 no. And so he said, well, well, if, if one of the church members uh, asked you for some money, you'll give it to them fast. I said, because they're in the household of faith. So everything I was coming back, I was coming with the wisdom and the knowledge and God gave me permission to correct that. Through love. Through love. You see what I'm saying? Now, if God would say, pay no mind, I wouldn't pay no mind. He know me, I, I wouldn't pay no mind. But if God said, no, correct them now. You, you see what I'm saying? So I, I always want to stay in the will of God and, and do it with the love of God. And the only thing you can do is look at me and say, all right, Pastor, all right, go laugh. All right, Pastor. Maybe next time I say, but Lord Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, oh, look at your star. Look at you know. And, and see, and so uh, because watch this here. Because when you do that, you never give an unbeliever room not to accept the God in you. So if that unbeliever disrespect the God in you, Guess who, guess who God going to get? Them. You see what I'm saying? You always got to keep your hands clean. You see what I'm saying? And so, always, you know, also, amen, uh, 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 with the spirit of wisdom and, and knowing, amen, what to say. Knowing what to say. Because, watch this here, because people will try to, it, you know, when you believe a people... And you doing right, people are already gonna come against your character. They already gonna come against your character. Amen. They're gonna come against your character, they're gonna come against your integrity. And that's what he did. He came against my integrity, you know. And so, um, um, and so, so um uh truth commands that God wants, truth commands that God wants us to know and believe in He. So, when we know that the knowledge, amen, knowledge, amen, the knowledge, true knowledge, it, it brings truth. It brings truth. Amen. So, anytime somebody looking for truth, they looking for knowledge. You see, anytime somebody looking for truth, they looking for knowledge. Anytime somebody looking for mess, they looking for garbage. You see? So anytime somebody's seeking for truth, that's the scripture said, if you seek me, you shall find me, not the door shall be open. Amen. And, and I really believe that it's not just uh, unto salvation, that goes beyond salvation too. Amen. Amen. Because once we receive Christ in our heart, we still should seek after. We're supposed to seek after. We're supposed to knock. Hey, God, hey, I need to know this. Amen. In the one life of what? Wisdom, ice for it. Amen. Um, 
Wisdom brings strength. Wisdom brings strength. Wisdom brings strength. Knowledge gives power. Knowledge gives power. Uh, the Negro uh, uh, Association, they talks about that. Uh, about uh, knowledge is power. You know, knowledge is power. Amen. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to go off sidebar here. Uh, you know, I think I thought that was kind of confusing. You know, uh, when you look at Hitler and when you look at all them, you know, they put the fists up. And then you got the black power, they put the fix the fists up. I'm like, oh, what is that? It, it demonstrates power. So it, it demonstrates power. So uh knowledge, amen, is knowledge give power. So we always, amen, uh seek for knowledge, amen. Uh, seek for knowledge, amen. But let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 22, uh, verse 21. Amen. We're going to read the Matthew. We're going to read Mark. And we're going to read Luke's. Amen. We're going to read those three. Amen. Real quick. Amen. Uh, Matthew chapter 22, verse 21. Uh, you got it? Pastor? Amen. And we're going to let, we're going to let Jesus demonstrate. Amen. Amen. They say unto him, Caesar's. Then saith he unto them. Uh, okay, go, go, go up. Go, go up. Uh, go, go up uh, to uh, go up to uh, verse 15. Amen. Then when the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him. Y'all see that? Entangle who? Jesus. <laughs> entangle Jesus. Amen. Amen. The enemy's job is to uh, is, is to tangle up. Amen. Uh, believers. Amen. That's why the scripture says you got to know the hope of your calling. Amen. You got to make your election. Amen. And calling us sure, amen. You got to be sure, amen. You got to study to show thyself approval, amen. You got to uh, work on, know how to write and divide the word of truth, amen. And be not ashamed of the gospel, amen. Uh, what is it say? How we might entangle him in his talk. In, in his, his what? In his talk. Wow, 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 wow. Let's go. And they sent out unto him their disciples with the heritance, saying, Master, we know that thou art true, and teachest the way of God in truth. Neither carest thou for so, any man. So, so you see how you see how that enemy get ready in the camp. You see how that enemy get ready in the camp. Sit ready in the camp and say, I know you are. A teacher. I know you are a true teacher. Oh, that's um, that's um, that's um. All right, let's go. For thou regardest not the person of men. Tell us, therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? Now, see, see, this where is that? This this is where it's at. See now they wanna uh, bring a question uh, with the government and God. The government and God, you know. And so what the enemy was trying to do is bring a wedge between the government and God. So they was hoping. Amen. Uh, that they can have a little more evidence of their dislike. You know? What does it say? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their wickedness. Y'all see that? See that? See, he had some knowledge. Yeah, he knew who it was. 
And watch how the knowledge and the wisdom just come together. Watch how the wisdom and the knowledge, amen, comes together. Amen. He already knew their spirit. He already knew what he was dealing with. You see what I'm saying? You know, he already knew. Because he said, uh, 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 he said, uh, witness. So watch how he respond. What did he say? And Jesus said, why tempt ye me, ye hypocrite? You hypocrite. <laughs> you see that? See how he responded back? See, that was, that was, that was strength. That was power in working. You see, watch this here. What did he say? Show me the tribute money. And they bought unto him a penny. Uh-huh. And he saith unto them, Whose whose is this image and subscription and superscription? They said unto him, Caesar's. Then saith he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things which are God's. You see that? You, you see that? See, Jesus answered with so much wisdom. So much. He kept the wisdom and the knowledge, everything just came together. What you see on the coin? You give that to him? So, you, you know what I'm saying? And give God what's God. So even on our dollar, we got we got America on them. You see what I'm saying? Dead president. <laughs> so you just you know, they gonna get there. <laughs> oh yeah, they gonna get there. Yeah, they gonna they gonna get there. So 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 the the, the the government, the world system, amen, get dance and God get hands. You see that? So now watch this here. Now watch how he mess them up. Man, you want me to go? Go down. Is it? When they had heard these things, they marveled and left him and went their way. See how he messed them up? See, because what they were looking for, they didn't get it. See, they thought that Jesus was going to violate the government system by saying something against Caesar or the government. You see what I'm saying? How the government functioned and moved. But he didn't give them that opportunity. He didn't give them that space. He didn't give them what they want. Give Caesar what due to him. Render what's due to Caesar. And what's due to God, you render what's due to God. You see, he, he walked in the wisdom and the knowledge, but he knew what he was facing. And see, and oftentimes, amen, if you don't know what you're facing, you ain't going to know how to respond. And see, the problem is people do it backwards. They'll respond. And hope they knew what they were what, what they were facing later. You see what I'm saying? Well, that's where I was at. Well, if you know, you know what you were facing, amen. That's why the truth is that we gotta watch as well as pray, amen. And we have to have discernment, amen. I'm gonna keep saying it, self-control. Amen. Self-control. When when a believer got self-control, he got control over the matter. You see? And so um, they, they, they walked away and they were just, they, they marveled. Wow. You know? All right. And so let's go to Mark chapter 12. Go to Mark chapter 12. Mark 12, chapter 12. Anytime you find and I have taught this and I'm going to interject this with this. Anytime you have having some type of hardship or warfare, always ask God, what is this spirit is? If it's not you causing it on yourself, or maybe you could be causing it on yourself and don't realize you're causing it on yourself. Always ask God, what is this spirit that I'm facing? What is this stronghold? That, that, that's trying to keep it down. Always ask God what you face. What is I'm facing God? Because when you know what you're facing, you'll you're prepare yourself. You'll know how to combat what you're facing. 
Amen. If, uh, if you call 911, amen, uh, call the police, or even if you call the ambulance or the fire department, they're going to ask you some questions because they want to know what they're facing before they get there. Y'all see what I'm saying? And see, we have to do that in the spirit realm. We have to ask God, God, what is this? Even if you don't feel a certain way when you wake up, God, what is this? I need to know what is this? Why is I'm feeling this way? Uh, it is you trying to prepare me for later on or somebody to come or, 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 or what? I mean, is I'm trying to, the enemy trying to distract me where I would not pass a test or what is this? Always consult God. I ask God, what is this? What is it? Amen. Amen. And he'll give it to you. He'll give you, he'll give you what you need. Amen. He'll give you what you need. Amen. Um, Mark chapter 12, verse 17. 17. Uh, let me see where I want to go at. Uh, 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 14, we're going to start at um, uh, 14. We're going to start at 14. And it's always good to, amen, to reference scriptures, amen. Reference scriptures, amen. There, love, here, love, amen. Be everywhere, amen. Reference scriptures, amen. Um, reference scriptures. What did it say? 14, verse 14. And when they were come, they say unto him, Master, we know that thou art true, and carest for no man, for thy regard is not the person of men, but teaches the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Shall we give or shall we not give? But he, knowing their hypocr hypocr okay, hypocrisy, said unto them, Why tempteth ye me? Bring me a penny that I may see it. And they bought it. And he said, Now, now you notice he said, he said, bring me a penny. They were coming one way and he shut it out. Bring me the penny. I already know where you at. You see? And so listen, don't you know you could you could be in a place in God, you could be in the will of God. You can know what a person saying, why they saying it. You'll know what they saying, why they saying it. You'll know they lying when they talking and saying it. You'll know their motive. You'll you know you know you 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 know. And that's where God want us to be, the children of the light. Amen. He want us to have that discernment. Amen. When the enemy comes, Amen. You already know what you're facing. Amen. It's a dangerous thing when you if, if if we are believers, if we don't know what's standing in front of us. We don't know what operating around us. That's that dangerous. That that that's dangerous. That's that's dangerous. That's that's dangerous. Yeah, that's just like running into a a, a fire that's on a house on fire. You know that's dangerous. Amen. Um. So Jesus said, "Wait a minute. Bring me, bring me the penny." And what did he say? And they bought it, and he said unto them. Whose is this image and superscription? And they said unto him, Caesar's. And Jesus answering said unto them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. And they marveled at him. They marveled at him. Now let's go to Luke. I mean, uh, yeah, Luke chapter 20. Luke chapter 20. This right here, this 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 teaching right here can open up doors for you fast. It can open up doors fast. Believe it or not. People will ask you a question and see how you're going to answer to know if you are up to task. Luke chapter 20. Luke chapter 20. I remember, um, I, I think I told it a while ago, some years ago, however, um, when I had 
first started uh, driving, uh, I first got the CDL and uh, uh, I went in for an interview and it was, it was a heap of them in there for the interview. And it was something that had experience, 10, 12, 15 years, one had 20 years driving experience and some, you know, it, it was different number, but they had more than I did. I didn't have none at the time. And um and, and I was in there, I'm like, boy, I know I ain't gonna get it now, boy. They, they, I'm listening at them way they don't they don't went they don't went to Tokyo and back, you know what I'm saying? I, I know I'm out, you know. And and <laughs> I went, you know, but I, I thank God for the wisdom and the and the knowledge and I thank God for the upbringing because uh, my dad, my mom, amen, taught me, taught us to say yes, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, and all of that, taught us manners, you know, and um, I went in there, and he asked me questions, and I said, uh, I just got them, no, sir, I just got them, such and such, yes, sir, no, sir, you know, and uh, he said, you know what, and there was a couple more behind me, and it was on one position, it was a couple more behind me, he had to come. He said, you know what, I'm going to stop the interview. I'm like, huh? He said, you got the job. He said, I like your mannerism. Um, I, I see what's well, in you. I want to give you a chance. I want to, they already got foundation, but I, I, you know, just because of the wisdom and the knowledge, I knew what to say, how to say it, and, and I had self-control. You see, I, I had self-control, you know. And, um, and and I got the job, you know. He said, when you walk out of here, you walk out of here, but however, you know. Uh, he said, but uh, and I thought he was playing. So when I walked out, he walked out, he told him, he said, oh, the interviews is over, um, we done. Uh, everything is, you know. And um, that's when I knew I had it. <laughs> and that's when I knew I had it. And, and um, so they called me, I had to do the drug tests and all of that, you know. But, um, but yeah, so. Um, it, it's, it's all because of, you know, uh, I knew what to do, knew what to say, and I had discipline, you know? And um, and so, um, I, too, I think, before before I got it, I think some probably was kind of stretching to him, too. But, um, but, um, but I like this here, what, what, uh, what Matthew, Mark, and Luke is saying. Uh, Luke chapter 20, um, we're going to deal with, um, um, uh, we'll start at verse 20, verse 20. And they watched him and sent forth spies, which should frame themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words. That so they might deliver him unto the power and authority. Now, now, now see this. You see, <laughs> yeah, are y'all seeing this? You see how I, I show you how you cross reference and everything I said at the beginning. Now you seeing it even more. You you cross reference the truth. You know, um, you know, you know. I heard somebody say, "Well, if I read Matthew, I read John, Luke, and Mark." Or who he gonna preach to, you know, and, and and so if you notice what Mark, Amen, Matthew and Mark, it was a little different. Yeah, yeah. But now look what Luke said. Luke going straight to it. Y'all yeah. see Luke going straight at the head. Watch it here. What did he say again? What did he say? And they watched him. And, and they watched him. And sent for spies. And sent for what? Spies. To do what? Which should free themselves, just men. Uh huh. That they might take hold of his words. What? Take hold of his word to do what? So that they might deliver him they, unto they, the they, power. They were looking for it in his skewed justification to get him crucified before time. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Amen. But he knew. Amen. amen. He knew his time was, but he walked in the wisdom and the knowledge. I'm, I'm about to holler right now. Lord Jesus. Woo! Lord, you, you, you whoop the devil just with wisdom and knowledge. You, you, you whoop the, he already lost it. You got the wisdom and knowledge. You walk in the wisdom and knowledge. You already. You, you, 
you can have folks on your job trying to set you up. You already know. You got the know, you got the insight already. You already know their spirit, and you see their strategy, and guess what happened? God know how to give you a detour. Amen. Because the tree got to give you a detour because the trap that they set up, you ain't gonna fall in it, they gonna fall in. But God said, I detour you around because why you walking in my wisdom and a part of my knowledge. Oh God, not my side. Oh God. Woo! Could you imagine if Jesus didn't walk in the wisdom and the knowledge and didn't know what to say and didn't know what he was facing? He said, in the other scripture, he said, I see the wickedness. He already see the wickedness. Oh God. Lord Jesus. Oh, okay, all right. Where we at? So they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? I told you the enemy was trying to bring a division and bring a reproach and get him between, caught between him saying something about the government. You, you see what I'm saying? About the, oh Lord, I could go a little further. Lord Jesus. Oh God. Okay. Woo. So you know, you know, it's funny how the Pharisees, you know, uh, uh, the Pharisees, you know, they couldn't, they they could lock them down through uh, scriptures because <laughs> they didn't understand the scripture. They didn't understand the scripture, and so what they couldn't. Lock them down with, they had no other choice but to try to bring them in the world system. Yes, very good. Work the world system against them because they couldn't do it biblically. They couldn't do it biblically. That's why they got mad, they were frustrated to the day, they were spitting on it and slapping them. Amen. You see, so they couldn't do it biblically, so they had. To bring them into the world. That's why Paul would say, I find no fault. Let me wash my hands. Lord God, the, the world couldn't hold it. But it was, oh, okay, let me, let me, let me. Oh, God. They tried to do it like Daniel. Yes. God's are helping me preach. They tried to, they tried to do it like Daniel and, and, and the pre Hebrew boys, you know. They, they can't do it spiritually because they have no power. That's why Jesus said the government is on my shoulder. Amen. The government was on my shoulder. Y'all see that? Amen. Oh, God. Woo. That's why you, if you know this, if you know this, who killed the prophet? Who killed, who killed the prophets? It was the world. Because, because, then because a person say they're a believer, if, that don't make them be a believer. You see, so the world, amen, the world, amen, oh God, God, oh God, the world, the world, we in this world, but not of this world. So the world don't know what to do with us because we in him, but we ain't. You see, so they don't know, the world don't know how to handle it, but kills. <laughs> Amen. 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 So, but if we walk, Jesus is a Jesus is a prime uh, example how to Lord. You you say something I can revelate that thing, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Look how the senators and the different people that was following Benny Hinn and the different ones, and Joyce Myers, Kreft, the ones that made it to that next uh, level of even prosperity in the gospel, how, you know, they followed them. And even now, and a lot of people don't know, like the, the higher you go in God, all that government gets on their shoulders even more. It gets on their shoulders. It, and it's right. I mean, they... And, and because how how why 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 they can fly why senators can fly anywhere off of tax money, money. wine bottles, yeah. eating all this right here, private jets, yeah. 
and, and, and rent debts with tax money, but when the when the when, but God can't bless his, his servants, the rappers could get it, the pimp could get it, but when they come down to the service of God, they ain't got no big having it. This is a true, this is a true story. Um 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 Deeper Life, uh, Bishop um, Jefferson. And um, how he helped me, he would work in the system. You know, I don't want to go into logistics, but um, some things popped off or whatever. And um, so they went to going in, trying to investigate him and all of that. But it was one nasty Caucasian white police officer. He was nasty. He said, he said I'm going to get him. I'm going to do this. I'm going to lock him up. And, 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 and I, I, he talking like a geeky. He's a geeky. Uh, Bishop Jefferson said, ah, I guess he, he going to leave him. And he got killed. He, they went to a call, and there was a guy. With, they went to come around the building, and they didn't see him, and they opened up on him he, because he put his mouth on the gossip on his prophet. He left out of him. Regardless if that prophet was wrong. Exactly. I mean, he was on the news. He made all. Oh, oh yeah. But the same one. But but Bishop got on the news. He said, I guarantee you, he would not be here. He gonna leave his earth. And it wasn't long. He left his earth. That's why. That's why. If you ever noticed, before they go into certain areas and go around corners, they call for that bird now. That's why. They call for the bird, the helicopter. Because they, they didn't have a helicopter to see he was right the guy was riding the corner. Yeah, that was in the 1990s. Yeah. And so so uh so I'm saying that to say this is that the government and, and watch this here, the government and watch this here, and it be folks that will go to church, that will get up under the leadership, amen, and then turn state or or get mad and get jealous and bring the government. Ain't nothing new up under the hill. That same thing going on. That same thing going on. Amen. And what I didn't understand, amen, this individual didn't have a pot to, uh, to cook in. They had no wonder to throw nothing out. But then you get raised up and you get mad over some EBT stamps. Uh, you hear what I'm saying? You know, and, and just mess it up for everybody. And these people, you got prostitutes came off the corner, you got drug addicts came off, and they get delivered. He's discipling them. They're for no book, chapter, and verse. I had one reading for me years ago. Brother Steve, book, chapter, and verse. Came from right now, came off the street. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But you got to understand what you facing and what you looking at. So that's why we have to, amen, seek for the wisdom and the knowledge. Amen. 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 I, 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 I can go a little further. Lord Jesus. Uh, woo. So I, I, wanted to, I wanted to, the Lord say, I want you to uh, recap this here and go a little further. Amen. And we're going to deal with it as God allow. Amen. Because I don't want, and God don't want no one to miss opportunities or get yourself in a place because you didn't walk in the wisdom and the knowledge. Amen. That's why the scripture said, be anxious for nothing. Yeah. But let your prayer, your supplication, your request be made known unto God. Amen. Amen. I need you to direct my, my steps. Amen. 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 Direct my steps. Amen. Lead me in that path of righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Come amen. Hallelujah. He's gonna be my name. He's gonna be his name. So amen. Amen. So I pray, I pray that uh everyone could grab something tonight, amen, and, and to combat the hands of the enemy. Amen. Because the higher you get, trust me, the stronger 